If you're gay, then you're gay. Don't pretend that you're straight. You could be who you are any day of the week. You are unlike the others, so strong and unique. We're all with you. Hello, everyone. Howdy. Welcome back to This Is We. This Is We. And we are recapping episode seven. That was a good one. Good? I don't know if good is the word that I would use. It was a good episode to watch. Not Heart wrenching. Yeah. Heart wrenching. Struggle. I am not a violent human, and yet I felt so many emotions that wanted me to inflict pain upon certain people. Uh oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, rough. We came back to the house from panel where um, Ben went home last week and now Babin. Babin. And Wait Lennox got us photo. We show up and Lennox obviously is on the wall again, looking amazing. Um, but we get to see some more of Denzel and Mariana and how they are just developing this lovely love. Is it real? I don't know. So, but no, we'll, we'll it's see. not real. I mean, whatever. She still has a boyfriend and he is thirsty. So, moving on. Yes. We. Want to know how thirsty they are? They're this thirsty. They need a gallon of water. They just need to hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> but we go to our challenge and we see Kelly Catrone and the lady who's in charge of the CW. And our challenge is an acting challenge. Lord have mercy, I have never acted nor do I really find joy in it. Um, but we have to do this like <laughs> acting <laughs> scene with like a, like a guy and a girl and it's like well, I'm paired up with Kari, and we get the script, and we're going through it. It's like three or four pages long of just stuff we have to memorize. It's just long. And so me and Kari are sitting there, and we're like, okay, we need to memorize the whole thing and not focus on the emotion yet. We need to just memorize it all, and then the emotion will come afterwards. And so we really wanted to make sure we knew all the lines. And so when we went into our act, the challenge in front of the people, we didn't mess up. We had every line. Perfect. Like we yeah. didn't mess up with our lines, and everybody else like improv the whole thing pretty much. So I, I was really proud of me and Kari for doing that. But the whole emotion thing—I mean, it's really hard for me to act like a straight man who's in love with a woman. Yeah. I mean, Kari's gorgeous and all, but she wasn't into it either. So I, I can't. Like, I, I didn't like this thing, man. I thought it was like just like. It was fun. It was was it? So fun. I'm glad. I just feel we like they're like. Laughing the whole time. We don't know what to do, so let's make you guys do this random shit. Oh no! The the, the prize is amazing. Yeah. Oh, that prize is cool. I never know what the prize is. No, it's amazing, and it was a really cool challenge. I think when we were watching, the funniest couple was um, Keith and Mariana because Keith just didn't care. He was just like whatever. Why? And then like he didn't memorize any of his lines, so he was just. Joking about it the whole time, and Mary was getting mad, and then they go in there, and if you can watch their video, it's just funny. She was so a hot ratchet funny. mess. It was so funny, oh my gosh. And we knew that they just weren't gonna do well with challenge, and so we were all just like, just have fun with it. And I mean, he it's just he, funny. He's just a goofball. Denzel and Shy, why was she not in the top three? That is so confusing. I mean, to me, she did really well, but I still think the top three was correct. I thought that those three people did a really good job. Yeah. I think Shy just was a little too over dramatic with it. Oh, I think yeah, that yeah. was kind of what set her back. And then. Well, no wonder um, freaking Denzel got a part on that TV show. Yeah. Because he's really good at acting. He's very good. And that's what he needs to do as an actor. That's see? pretty much the only thing I like about him right now. Genius. He's really, really good, and that's why if you want to watch Denzel on another TV show, you should watch If Loving You Is Wrong on Oprah's TV channel. Tyler Perry show, he's on that. Amazing. Um, but yeah, he won the challenge and got to be on the CW show, which should be coming out soonish. Really? Yeah. I don't think he's allowed to tell what show yet, but um, he already filmed it and it's going to 
going to come out soon, but I don't know when. That's um, awesome, considering his social skills a little bit. Um, <laughs> Ray Leah. Oh my god, Ray Leah! <laughs> what was she even saying? The words on this script were like, really strange. Like, Jelly Falaha was the guy's name. What the, what is that? I don't know, but they just like, And then Planet, Planet Gamusa, it was Gum and then U-U-M-S-A, Gamusa. So, I mean, Ray Leah, I mean, we all saw her mess up the Raven's fame, falls in the plane, whatever. She said the spine and brain, and. That was hysterical. Hysterical. So, she, you know that she speaks really fast and she doesn't enunciate sometimes, but the scene where she's on the floor just. She was just mumbling and like crawling around. And then that big old hair. hair. And then, and then, her, hair. And then in her confessional, she's like, Planet Gabusa. The Gamumu, the planet with the G. That's <laughs> slept it so hard. It's just so yes. funny. Oh my gosh. Just so finally over there. You're hilarious. Um, so that was entertaining. But we all had a really good time um, learning the script and like, you know, being together. Because we were all in one room doing it together and we would kind of just watch each other and laugh. Because acting is really funny because you get into a different character when, when people are watching you practice, it's weird. weird. It's bad, it's so weird. It's so weird. And then the kiss with Kari, we were sitting there on the floor with our script and it was like, kiss passionately. And I was like, Kari, we just gotta do it. Just gotta do it, get it over with so that we just don't have to worry about it. And so we just start kissing and then we we're just sort of dying laughing because it's just so funny. It's just so funny. Oh my God. You love kissing people. Yeah. <laughs> Guess it's so funny. Um, so that was really fun. Acting challenge was cool. I mean, as obvious as that was Um Yeah, and why did Miriana choose him? That's confusing. I think, I can't remember, but I think we were paired up. Or there was like, found a partner and we all just kind of stood where we were and was like, okay, you're a partner. Oh, it seemed, they kind of made it seem like she specifically did not choose to sell. And then when they asked, know. remember, remember. He, they were like, why do you want to? Oh, remember Kelly said that she's like, if you're sleeping with Denzel, I'm confused as why you would pick him. She's like, work and play are separate. I don't remember. That's what she was saying. And then Denzel was talking about how Mariana's going to be kicking herself for not choosing him. I don't remember. I remember what happened when we Their choose. drama. It's too much. Um, are we going to talk about that for a second? What drama? Between... Mariana, Denzel, and Shy. It's Whatever. Fun. I mean, Shy was like, we don't care. like, I don't care. I don't find him attractive. It was for work, and Mariana's like, you kissing another girl? And Denzel's like, girl, you're not even my girlfriend or my whatever. You're nobody. And then she's just like, don't touch other women. And we're I, all just like, we're like oh. the comment that Denzel said in his confession or whatever about like not really caring to pursue her because they oh, he wasn't good. Oh, outside of the house, he wouldn't yeah, pursue her. Yeah, that, that was, was weird. Sad. That was weird because they still have a really close friendship now. Um, that I mean, could turn into more of that. That was, that was a strange comment. I thought so too. Um, They're just not making him look too good. Let's get to the good part. Yeah, and then... Or the horrible part. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Back in the house, we are yes, just right. chit-chatting. Um, and like I said on the show, I overhear a conversation that you can hear everything people say when you're in the bedrooms, um, aka Mary and Denzel, but you can hear everything, any conversations you're having. And so I was upstairs with Matthew, and Matthew was going to bed, it was late at night. Um, and so I'm up there sitting with Matthew, and then we both hear the conversation, and I'm like, what? I'm just kind of taken back, because I was just like, I talking about that, that's really strange for them to be saying that kind of stuff, thought everything was cool, and it's, it's not who I thought they were, or how they felt, um, so I immediately go downstairs, um, already teary-eyed, and I go up to Relia, and I'm like, listen to what I heard, and she's like, what? She kind of freaks out, and she's just like, that's not cool, and so she, you see, she runs into the bedroom, and tells them, and I'm sitting there, Mariana comes out, gives me a hug, Nobody else really knows what's going on yet. Um, it's kind of just me, the boys, Mariana and Marilia, 
And then, then Zell comes out of the room and is like trying to talk about it. And I'm just like, I don't want to talk to you right now. I need to like let this sit for a minute because I'm upset about it. I don't want to talk to you because I'm going to start yelling at you. I'm going to start getting very not me. And so I was just like, don't talk to me. Don't try and defend yourself. And then the second that he does try to defend himself, he's like, don't act. Or he's like, I'm not throwing a punch at you. And I was like, you are specifically, you are specifically saying that you don't want to lose to me because of the way. That's exactly what came out of your mouth. And I was just like, you can't think that what you said is okay at all. And so I just go to the kitchen, I'm crying, everybody's in there. I was in there for probably an hour, just like talking to everybody, just being upset. I mean, I had a right to be upset. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think it was not so much as what was said, I think it was more for me, the fact that in this house we've all become so close and Denzel was kind of somebody that I had become close to. We've had some really good conversations in the house, just bonding, I mean, it's everybody, but I mean, especially Denzel. Um, and so I just felt really comfortable around everyone and I felt really trusting of them and with me and just the whole dynamic. And so when I heard someone that I cared about, someone that I trusted, say something like that, it put me back in a place that I don't ever want to go again, that made me very vulnerable, but also scared and like insecure. And I don't, I didn't like that. It was not so much of what he said, it was more about who said it, I think for me. Like, you can say whatever you want about me, I don't care who you are, but when it's someone that you care about, someone that you've grown really close to, it's a whole different monster. So that's what upset me the most. Um, and then when we're in the kitchen talking with all the girls and then Adam's in there and then Adam shares his story, which Adam is so great. He Adam is so great. Love that guy. He was just very supportive and he was just like, I want you to know that like, I support you, I'm here for you, whatever you need. I'm not like homophobic, like something happened in my past that just was taken the wrong way and I regret it and very sorry for it. So that was really awesome to be a part of that and sharing this story. Um, and also for me to finally connect with Adam on a different level and say, you're the type of person that would have bullied me or been not by my friend in college or in high school, but to actually get to know you and for you to try and get to know me, it's a whole different ball game and you're actually like someone That's that so cool. is amazing and that I could see myself being friends with and we are still friends now, six months later. So that was a really cool moment. So after that, it was just a long night that I sat with the girls and we all just talked and Matthew was asleep. And yeah, the whole time I was like, where is Matthew? He went to sleep, I don't know why. And then he woke up and he was like, what happened? And I was like, Matthew, what? Anyways, so that whole night it was just kind of Everyone kind of died down and kind of did their own thing, and we all went to bed and just kind of had our own little conversations. Um, but the next day, we have. Yeah. Unless you want to say anything about that. That was a lot. But I think that. Um, I think some people. What I'd like to say is one that um, I'm impressed with Keith that he, it shows a lot about your character when you can allow somebody to vent to you about things, but um, you don't have to like agree with what they're saying. Um, and he made it extremely clear that he didn't agree with him. And I thought that that was, yeah, I, I thought that was really great. Keith's um, awesome. Keith is really great. As far as Denzel is concerned, should really learn to not say everything that you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I Sorry. know that Denzel is not homophobic. I know that he didn't mean for it to come off that way, but it was all word choice and the way he worded things that made it he, worse than it He may not was. be homophobic, but he meant he doesn't want to lose to a gay guy. True. Straight up. There's no getting around that. And he's trying to make it seem like it's not that bad, but that's like not what he meant. But, but it doesn't matter what you meant 
is what you said. You don't want to lose it. True. In the, the time that it happened, it was what he said that was not cool. Now? But now... He probably doesn't think that. Just it's, not, it's not even the fact that he doesn't want a gay guy to win. He doesn't want, like... He just gets judged a lot for being a model because most people think that male models are gay. Well, why doesn't he um, step so out he, for a second and think about what it's like to actually be gay and have people judge you on that? Ooh, you're a model and you get judged because people think you're gay. Try being gay. Come on! True. Get over yourself, Denzel. You know what else? Denzel is sexist. He's like, he goes, are you oh, gonna... Oh my gosh, I, this really, I'm telling you, you know I don't get angry about stuff. When he was saying, are you going to act like a man and have a conversation with me, or are you just going to act like a woman and be emotional? As a woman, I am a very logical person. She's I, not emotional. I am not emotional. I don't act like that. I think before I say things, and... I like having conversations with people and working on our differences, and I'm not confrontational. So if something like this happened, I would act like a man and go talk to you. And for someone to say that on television, it, it, it's just funny because when Tara said, this is an industry that's mostly female and you just insulted everybody. You insulted all the females, you insulted all the gay people. Who else did you insult? Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, it, just, it was just bad thing after bad thing, and I, heard I was very upset. Let me just put it that way. I was crying a lot oh, during did. that episode. Yeah, I hate did. that we didn't get to watch it together. Damn work. We did watch it together. I mean, but not when like it was happening. Like. Oh. Anyways. Um, Anyways, Denzel, my advice to you would be to shut the hell up. That would be my greatest advice. Because everyone is entitled to their opinion, of course. And the other shitty thing is that, like, you know all of y'all are having, like, side conversations about everybody else. That's natural and totally normal. It blows because everybody heard his, and it was particularly rude. That's what sucks. I do think that a little bit for him, but... I do, too, just because after the fact, and talking with him about it, it's a different, there's a different issue besides what he, like, what he was trying to say is a different issue than what it came across as. Right. Anyways, but that conversation was a direct attack on me as mm -hmm. a person, not as me as a competitor. Yeah, that... So, like, if I was to say, I don't like Shai's picture. I don't like Linux's picture. You're not good at modeling. You're not gonna win the competition. That is a lot different than saying I don't want you to win because of who you are. That's a whole different story. So that's also what made me upset because yes, I there's lots of times that I don't like people's picture. That doesn't affect how I feel about them as people. And so when someone was attacking me as a person and who I am, that was just not making me feel very good. No. Do not, do not do uh, And then I go into my confession, I'm talking about my parents and everything that happened. And it just, that whole situation put me in a place where I don't ever have to go back because it was already rough and I was already upset all the time a long time ago. And now I don't want to go back there because of people that I love saying things. I just don't think you should fight hate with more hate, so I don't want anyone to continue bashing Denzel because he's apologized, he knows that he made a mistake, and he is very sorry for it, so I don't think that it's, it's not productive to right. say that he's homophobic, or he's a terrible person, or he's all these things, when that just elevates the situation and makes it a lot more worse. It doesn't yeah. benefit anyone, whereas he's apologized and he's trying yeah. to remedy the situation. I've forgiven him and we are really good friends now, so everyone else should let it go. Yeah, the best thing everyone can do is just... Know that it happened. Be yourself. Be yourself. And radiate positivity. And know that these types of things happen when people are themselves, but it should deter you from being yourself, for sure. I had about 30 seconds of me
not wanting to be myself anymore. And then after that, I was like, oh wait. And then you see me at panel and I'm wearing heels. You're like, move, um, bitch, get out the way. Yeah, I hope you know that because of that, you, I mean, already you were extremely inspirational to me, and I'm as friend, and you were so inspirational to me, but just like think about all the people. Like, I read someone's comment on our YouTube thing, on like one of our last things, and people are just commenting on there how you're like inspiring them to come out or be themselves or, I don't know, protest the haters. It's awesome. It's awesome that this show has, has done that for you and for everybody else. Yeah, um, it's very cool. Keep being Hell yourself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, mm, I can't even. My heart is full, that's what all I have to say. But, Ooh. photo shoot was pretty boring, pretty tame, nothing really happened besides the Rayleigh and Mariana fight. Oh my gosh. Can you fill in the stuff? Hilarious. That, that was so funny. Okay, I'm not on the bus when it starts. So they start going back and forth. We saw a lot of that. Just like, you're not going to win, I'm going to win, you're not going to win, you're not my competition. And then, Mariana that day had asked Rayleigh, if she could borrow some of her clothes, like a jacket or some shorts. And Mariana, when we're in the bus, is like, you ain't got style. And then really comes back with, bitch, you're wearing my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the funniest thing. But I mean, you can see us all on the bus. We were dying laughing. And then the second the fight is over, everyone, really Mariana, everyone just starts laughing so hard because it was so funny. It was so funny. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. But it went on for about 20 minutes and it was... I've been just screaming at each other? Yes! They so both looked crazy. It was so They looked crazy. Funny. Oh my gosh. It was so Who funny. started it? Do you know? I mean, I'm gonna guess Miriana because she is like, she just loves starting Oh, it might have been Raylia just because she felt attacked. Yeah. I mean, we were all watching Raylia shoot and it, yeah. was, it was hard to watch because you wanted her to do so well and you knew that she was struggling. Um, I thought she looked great. There was times where she didn't look like herself, and so Mariana just decided to tell her that you just didn't do very well. And so really, we're not like, you. Don't worry about nobody right. else. Um, so that whole just just blew up, and I really think Riley was the first one because I saw her when we were being on the bus, and she was just like, "Let's go off." And I was like, "Yes, I can't wait." Um, so it was just really funny and entertaining. Um, they edited a lot of it out, probably because of the cussing, but it was so funny. Oh my god. But the photo shoot was just pretty normal, pretty tame. We saw so Denzel struggle, there, yeah. we saw Kari mm -hmm. struggle, we saw Keith struggle. Um, yeah. Adam had to sing, that was really strange. He had to sing? Yeah. Wait, did I miss that? Yeah, he had to sing. It was really Was weird. that on camera? That wasn't in the thing, wasn't it? Was yes, it was. Um, it was very strange. You I said I had turkey legs. My legs are very muscular. Yeah. So you they're pretty big. Turkey, turkey. Um, turkey, turkey. But yeah, after that we just go to the panel. So how confident are you feeling after you're watching all these other people struggle? How do you feel going into the panel before you get your scores? Um, I loved my shoot. Like I had a really good time. I, when I walked on the set, I was like, Usai, like I'm ready. Let's do it. And they were giving me such good positive feedback. I had to change outfits twice, just because they didn't like what I was wearing. Um, not funny, they liked the pants, but they didn't like the top, so I had to change a couple of times. Um, but it was very positive, and then they just kept you know, helping me, and I just got good feedback, so I felt good. And after watching everybody else, I didn't think that I would have been in danger. Um, so I felt pretty confident going in. But the fight with Denzel was, Two days before panel, so we weren't talking when we got off to the photo shoot. No, we weren't talking when we got to the challenge. I don't know. Anyways, but on the day of panel, I told the producers, I was like, y'all better watch out because I'm going to make a statement today. And so I made sure they knew it was coming. Um, so I wore my heels and like, when I go up there, I went up there first to see the judges. And they're just like, why are you wearing those? And I told them why, as you can see. Um, but the conversation was a little bit longer between me and Denzel. Um, and then I can look at the people in the background and Kari was tearing up, she was crying, and Ray Leo was just, everyone was very just like,
touched and upset by the whole situation and you knew that it affected not only me but also a lot of people because all of us know someone who has been affected by bullying or negative comments or someone that is gay or someone lesbian, bisexual, whatever, transgender, um, everything. And so it kind of touched home for a lot of people the fact that people get judged every single day. So it just hit home for a lot of people and especially the judges too because they're people that know a lot of people. Um, so when Tyra starts like, do you know what you said to Denzel? And Kelly's like, do you know what you're industry is like and then I'm surprised Miss J didn't say anything she didn't say anything the whole time really probably because yeah. she was pissed um, no you're just like you know if you start talking it's just gonna get it's just gonna be bad so I made a statement at panel and I was just like I'm not about to let someone's comments affect me or how I'm doing in the competition and I'm gonna prove to you that you are going to lose by someone who's wearing six inch I like the new shirt a lot. Okay. Everyone should get one. It's it. Tell us what it says. You say. Shut up. My heels are bigger than your. He he he! I'm gonna wear that every Friday. I'm gonna wear that every Friday too. Mm -mm -mm. So don't let anyone bully you. Mm. Don't definitely don't do not. Don't react with violence, but definitely don't let them. Walk all over you. All I'm gonna You're say is that. like, how cool was it that Tyra Banks stood up for you? It was awesome. Oh my god. It was great. No one can ever believe you again be like, I'm gonna stick Tyra Banks on your ass. She will tell you, do not. Yeah, she will. Yeah, she will. Oh, that was so cool. And I like how Denzel was like, oh, this is not what I meant. She was like, no, yes, it is. It is what you meant. It came out of your mouth. Mm. You say it, you meant it. You don't say things you don't mean. Mm. Some people do in there. But panel was Thanks. pretty pretty chill. I mean Other than being emotional? Other than that, like nothing really happened. We saw everyone get their scores. Really they got a four. That was weird. That was I don't so weird. I don't like that it. at all. Not at all. Um, she ended up being in the bottom two with Kari and we all kind of knew that car would be the next one to go. She kind of had given up. Um, I think her makeover just messed her up mentally. She just didn't feel like herself. And so I think she kind of just was ready to go. She knew it was her time. I think, like she said at the very end of the episode, the hardest thing when someone leaves is the fact that you can't hang out with them anymore. Yeah. And so I think that was really upsetting for her and also for us because she was just like the mom of the house. Like everyone talked to her. Yeah. Everyone talked to Kari and everyone was friends with her and like really loved her and so it was hard for us to watch her leave because she was such a good energy in the house. Yeah. I mean it would have been hard if her leader would have left but um, it was really rough to see her go. But I mean scores were normal. We saw Adam get um, second place. I... Which is really awesome. Adam is just... I'm sorry. The people that hate on Adam because he's not a model, this is a reality show and Adam is smart and he's... I mean, you and Adam are probably the smartest people. I don't know if he's smarter than you, but you're oh, really smart. Adam's pretty smart. You're really smart, but he's just like, he does what everybody asks him to do. He responds well, really well to criticism, and he tries really hard, and he practices, and he gets better every single time. Yeah, like, in the beginning, before, okay, so when all the pictures came out, I was like, eh, none of the guys really impressed me. But now that I'm seeing everything pan out, Adam and you are really the two guys to be. I know that everyone's like, ah, Keith. But I mean, Keith only has one, really one face. And he's gonna have jobs forever. Keith can model forever, but I don't know. Adam is like a really good student. And that's what the type of person that Tyra loves. You know, she loves being able to say, like, I made that person into a model. I turned them into a superstar. Just like you, because you weren't a model before. No, I was just. You were just a you, you know? Just smart little cookie. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I'm super impressed with him. I think us three are the guys to beat, though. 
Now that it's us three, yeah. Denzel and Matthew. Matthew's just like not doing anything I think anymore. You, I think Denzel's dug himself a grave and it's going to screw him over in the competition. And I yeah. think that um, Matthew's just not He seems bored to me. Yeah, he, I mean, like they said, the first panel, he is boring. And I uh, wish that he was getting better, but... I think his photo shoots are just going down, down, and down. So um, I think that us three guys are the guys to beat, and then the girls are Lennox, um, Lennox, Raylia, and Shy for me. The top three girls. Shy. Sorry, Mariana, you're just like, it's too much talking. Talk. Um, yeah, so next week, what's coming up? Yeah, wait, did we see a preview? We did. What's coming up? We have our... Let's look at the... Let's look at this. Oh, we didn't see pictures of the photo shoot just because they don't want to give that away. And it's the one with Corey. Um, oh, yes. And then... I'm so excited. The I really challenge know. was... Oh, oh! I remember. Okay, so this next challenge is we have to create a photo shoot around Kelly Catron's clothing. So Kelly Catron is like the judge of our challenge. Oh shit. That's gonna be rough. She, she is scary. Yeah. Scary, especially when it's her baby. And so that was really intense. We saw a little bit of that. And it's I can't wait. I can't it's wait. Real good. And then our photo shoot with Corey. Find out our DNA results. That's gonna be exciting. Can you tell us what they are? You want I can't. I can't. If you had to guess, um I don't know. What are mine? Oh. I mean, I kind of know. I think I'm just a melting pot, you know what I mean? Just like a little bit every day. We'll see. Okay. We'll see what that is. I've got my dad tested. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure you watch next Friday, aka October the... Yeah. October the 10th. I don't know about that. Um, it is 9, 8 central. And then also watch back next Monday for another episode of This Is We Will Recap. Recap. The next recap. We were going to recap. <laughs> recap this episode. And then make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Send us suggestions for This Is We as we'll be doing little bitty shorts. Suggestions for word of the day. Yeah. Ooh, and we have a surprising segment coming up this week, so keep a lookout for that. We'll be revealing more. Also, comment how um, you feel about the whole Denzel situation and join in on the conversation. We want to know what you think. And yeah. have a wonderful day. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks Miguel. Miguel. If you're straight, well, that's great. You can help procreate and